One of the great features of Live Binders is that you can upload documents. Let me show you how you can do that. If you go to the edit menu, you have this menu that appears down here, which allows you to advance edit things. Uh, if you click on the upload file, you can choose a file to either upload to the current tab, which this would be tab one. You could upload to a completely new tab. We could create a fourth tab, or we could upload to a sub tab, which would appear underneath here. So the very first thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you're doing a Word document, if you just upload a single Word document, you're going to have this happen. You just hit open, and then I'm going to upload it just to this tab. And when I do that, you just get a link that appears. So your kids can't see the actual Word document on their screen. However, there's another option. You can simply go into your Word document. You can save it as a PDF file. If you save it as a PDF file, just hit publish. Go back to LiveBinder, choose your file, here it is, hit open, and when you open it, it will then need to be uploaded. Here you go. This is my Word document, my sample Word document that kids can see. If I wanted to upload this document to a new sub-tab, I could simply choose my file, and I could upload it to a new sub-tab. Here you go. Now, as you can see, I have a web address right here. I could just change this to sample document. And that's how you upload a Word document.